constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The Bar Association informed us today that the manner in which the Provincial Council Act was passed was wrong. Furthermore, the Bar Association hopes to meet with the President and the Prime Minister to rectify the issue as it harms the independence of the legal system. I spoke to the Chairman of the Bar Association of Sri Lanka on Sunday and asked him if there is anything wrong. I told him that we came to an agreement following a discussion with all parties. The bill was passed after we cast our vote. We followed a process practiced in Parliament. This was not done arbitrarily. I also told him that if the association wishes to speak on the process, the President and I are willing to do so. Last time we started off our debate on allocating a quota of 25% of women in all provincial councils. Instead, we ended our debate on introducing an entirely new bill with a new electoral system. What if amendments are put forth in relation to a presidential election? What if the Working Committee allows amendments stating that only those who have been in Parliament for over 40 years can run for elections? Is that correct? We spoke about this last week and the Act was passed with a two-thirds majority. The real problem here is that ones who are speaking about this are those who have run in presidential elections twice, lost the third election while having taken away all legislative powers. What right do you have to speak about this? What I'm trying to say here is we can debate about the draft bill at the second debate where you can table all your issues. <laughs> Leader of the House, as you announced in Parliament, the 20th Amendment to the Constitution will be withdrawn. Why have you not withdrawn this Act? <laughs> Meanwhile, electricity was disrupted at the Parliament chamber recently when votes were to be cast in relation to the provincial, local and Pradesh Sabha elections.